Hi, this is Noelle, the daughter of Computer Reset founder and owner Richard Byron. Over the past two years, it has been an honor to help preserve my father's collection of vintage computers and technology. Thanks to you, and with the help of some awesome dedicated volunteers, we've been able to get some real treasures into the hands of collectors and hobbyists. Thank you so much for your support and for all of those who have come out to visit us. With my parents both now having passed away, the time has come for us to enter the final phase of the computer reset liquidation. My father's warehouse must be sold, and as we begin the process of putting the property on the market, we are announcing that the liquidation sales will end sometime around April of 2022. This time frame is subject to change based on the amount of interest we have for upcoming sales events, the availability of volunteers to run those events, and the process of selling the building. If you haven't yet had the chance to visit Computer Reset, please know that there are many treasures left to be found. Some folks have been talking about how there's nothing left at Computer Reset. There's still a lot here to be found. In the past few weeks, we found some new in the box uh, laptop components that are upstairs over on the U-Haul side. We've found a Kovac speech thing that was in the section of boxes that we hadn't unearthed yet. In addition, we've been finding more PC Junior motherboards. And as a walkthrough yesterday, we found a DEC 420 terminal. So there are still plenty of treasures to be found. There's a lot of stuff. Even, even after it's been operating now for a few years, there's tons of stuff in the warehouse. There's all kind of stuff that, that people have not found here yet, like all those brand new Toshiba 800 meg hard drives for laptops. We found those seal in a sealed case upstairs and nobody had touched them yet. Uh, this was a, about a 12 hour drive from home, yeah. What have you found today? Uh, I came here, uh, the, I had a few things on my list, but the most important thing was I've actually got one of these. It's an old Zenith laptop. Uh, I've got an, uh, one that's got an 8088 and one that's got a 386 processor, so we're talking in early to mid 80s, uh, to maybe late 80s. Uh, the thing that's really hard to find on them is the battery. So these batteries kind of hook onto the back there, and uh, yeah, they had loads of them. So I hit the jackpot there. Uh, so, you know, you just kind of start poking around, um, not looking for anything in particular. Um, so you'll see something out of the corner of your eye, like, hey, I haven't seen that in like 20 years or so. And you just find it and it makes you happy because you found something that you never thought you'd find. While some of the rarest and most sought after names in computing, like the early Apples, IBM PCs and Commodores can't be found, there are still many vintage parts, hard to find boards and expansions, as well as complete or nearly complete desktop computers from the Pentium era and beyond. We hope that you can make it to Dallas and visit Computer Reset before the liquidation ends. But even if you can't, I wanna thank you for all the support, excitement and interest in my dad's collection and wish you all the best in 2022.